on this edition of Badminton World, we're in Liu Zhu for the Grand BWF World Super Series Finals of 2011. They're the most prolific men's doubles pair in the world right now, Fu Hai Feng and Kai Yun. And we have a chat with Wang Jin, one of the top three women singles players in the world. Welcome to Liu Zhu, also known as the Dragon City. Famous for both its industry and commanding scenic views, this historical and cultural metropolis in South China is more than 2,000 years old. Liu Zhu's busy streets are a testament to a city that's always on the move. Nearly 4 million people live out their daily lives here in a city covering an area of over 18,000 square kilometers. Contemporary Liu Zhu stands tall and proud of its remarkable contribution to China's economic progress. The country's most unusual exports are its good luck coffins. But there's no good luck needed at this year's BWF World Super Series Finals, for the winner receives prize money of 500,000 US dollars. The BWF Super Series Finals ended the year with the best eight men's and women's singles and doubles players, as well as mixed doubles players battling it out. The finals were the climax of the 12-leg BWF Super Series circuit and were played on 14th to 18th December 2011. There was some amazing badminton on show during the quarter-final rounds of the competition. China's Dan Lin majestically panned Japan's Kenichi Tagu in a game lasting only 42 minutes. Lin winning almost twice the number of points that Tago did. Seven match points. The other male singles players to make it through were the Netherlands' Peter Hoog Garde, China's Long Chen, and Malaysia's Chong Wei Li. In the women's singles quarters draw, India's Saina Newal took on China's Jin Wang. The pair had met several times before, Wang beating Newal on four out of the six occasions. But in this case, underdog Saina Newal came through to clinch the victory. That's gone wide, my goodness me. Also in the women's quarters, China's Yan Wang, Denmark's Tina Baun and Sayaku Sato from Japan fought their way through to the final four. One of the more exciting mixed doubles quarter rounds was Japan's Shintaro Ikeda and Reiki Shiota versus Thailand's Surket Prapakamol and Sarali Tung Tong Kam. gone long and they lifted well long so now two match points to Ikeda and Shiota yeah first time of asking my goodness it was closer in that second game than they would have wanted well, that's a very good performance indeed from Shintaro Ikeda and Reiko Shiota. They're the most prolific men's doubles pair in the world right now. Say hello to Fu Hai Feng and Kai Yun. Fu just happened to produce the fastest smash ever during match play by clocking a supersonic 303 kilometers per hour. Badminton World caught up with the two players, initially asking them what their goals had been since the Beijing Olympics in 2008. Our goal for 2011 was to accumulate as many Olympic qualifying points as possible so that we could draw the highest seed possible. I think since the conclusion of the 2008 Beijing Olympics, my goal has been to perform well. We are not concentrating on the result or expecting too much. Our actual desire to win as opposed to playing well has lessened. 
And with this lessening of the desire to win comes an increase in satisfaction with performances in 2011. We were very satisfied with our performance this year, especially from the Söderman Cup to the midway point of the season, when we began to play very well and appeared in nine straight finals. We are quite satisfied with this year's tournament results because we have good results in the Super Series and World Championships. My best performance this year was at the World Championships, where we won our second consecutive title. This time was very significant for us because no one has ever won three consecutive world titles, so I feel we had a very good year. But despite these wins, the couple can't escape the warm breath of their nearest rivals breathing down their necks. Lee and Jung are our main rivals, and we always seem to be competing with them for champions or runners-up position. It's very difficult to compete against them because the style they play is very traditional. They defend well and attack very aggressively, so playing them is a very tiring experience, but we have various strategies for competing with them. We have played for so many years and competed against Lee and Jung so many times. I don't think when we play it is so much of a match as it is a performance. And despite the lack of nerves, it's still very important to the players to win this tournament. This tournament is really the last major competition of the year, and we obviously hope we can win the title. However, in a few weeks, we will compete in the Korea Open. There are now so many tournaments, one after the other, that it's hard to treat many of them as more important than the others. It's satisfying to finish this year in China after so many competitions. As we all know, we are in the midst of Olympic qualifying, which means lots of tournaments and pressure. And that relaxed feeling seems also to stretch to their partnership. Our partnership is quite good, both on and off the court. He's very active and likes to make friends. He's also very active at the net and likes to play lots of shots. He creates opportunities for me to attack. We have really strong cooperation. Fu is a man of integrity and diligence. He has a happy family life. Off the court, we have less communication and obviously have our own lives. On the court, we are great friends, and as good friends, we needn't spend every waking hour together. And the intent to keep having that great time right through to the Olympics in London. We still have a series of qualifying tournaments ahead, and in May, we have the Thomas and Uber Cup. This is quite an important event for us. By June and July, we will get serious about our training ahead of the Olympics. I don't want to spend too much time worrying about the Olympics. Because we concentrate on playing well every time we step on the floor, we will take each event one by one. Coming up on Badminton World, we talk to Jin Wang. More and more tired as the match has progressed. And the final of the BWF World Super Series. Don't go anywhere. Welcome back to Badminton World, where we've got all the action from Yuzhou in the Grand BWF World Super Series Finals of 2011. But first, it's time for our feature on one of the top three women singles players in the world, Wang Jin. She's had a relatively off-color season, so we started by asking her why she thought this was. Generally speaking, I am not that satisfied with my performance this year. I had many ups and downs. I lost twice on the first round. I didn't play consistently. Not like 2010. In the middle of the year, I was down. My results were not good. After some mid-season adjustments, I have done quite well in recent competitions. So I am not satisfied with 2011. My best results for me were the Denmark and French Opens. I was not very satisfied with 2011 in general. 
From my Sudaman Cup loss to the end of the year ups and downs, my performance was very unsteady. Through the field of the Denmark Open, where I won the title, I had comparatively strong opposition, including our top Chinese players. I remained in this state through the French Open, so I am quite satisfied with this stretch. Under the circumstances, because we have so much competition, Chinese players have a much more difficult road to success than foreign players. Given this situation, I was in a position to improve and develop myself. Now, with one competition after another, my training has been vital in keeping the proper state of mind necessary to succeed. We asked Jin if part of getting into this state of mind includes getting to know her own style. Style? I think I have perseverance. I don't know if you can understand. I may not be the best, but I always play hard. I always give 100% when I practice and play. Although I may not win, I will use up all of my energy trying. And Jin definitely intends to use up all her energy training for this year's 2012 Olympics. I think I made every effort to play well in each qualifying tournament this year in hopes of winning an admission ticket to the Olympics. Once I formally qualify, once I'm sure I'm in, I will adopt a new state of mind that will allow me to face the Games. But before the Games, it's the Super Series final. And Jin feels this is her year for glory. It's my first Super Series final. It's relatively different and comparatively fresh. Because last year, I didn't qualify due to limited numbers per country. I didn't play last year. This year, I was quite optimistic that I would qualify. But then I wasn't sure because of my points and ranking. Now I am happy that I can play in the final. And because it's in China, I feel I have a psychological advantage because I am playing at home. Also, the competition format of the finals is different. It's like or similar to the Olympics, so I will treat this event like it's more important, since it will allow me to use it as a practice run for the Olympics. Lin Dan and Li Chong Wei happen to be the two greatest names in badminton right now. In fact, some experts say that Lin Dan might be the greatest ever. This understandably has led to a fierce rivalry. This year we've met two or three times, including the World Championships and the Singapore Open semi-final, and the matches have gone to three games. Today I wanted to do my bit by beating Peter, in the same way Chen Long took care of Chong Wei in three sets earlier. We definitely wanted to keep the gold medal here in Lu Xie this year, and I I was dedicated to holding up my end. At this point, Lin and Chen are my strongest opponents and biggest rivals. Peter has many good skills for winning points, and his speed on attack is very quick. I must work hard to defend against him and try to restrict his attack. Not many people can keep up with him, so that was the most important issue for me coming in. So it was time for the men's semi-finals at the Leaning BWF World Super Series 2011. Peter Garde was drawn up against China's Dan Lin, and it was Lin who came out victorious and jumped into the final. Well, that's going to go wide. Oh! In the other men's single semi-final, Li Chong Wei met Chen Long for a hard-fought game, which finally led to victory for Chen Long. After the match, we caught up with both of them for a chat. Uh, I 
The loss is not a real pity. I've just been playing too much. I had a bit of a fitness issue. Chen played quite well, rarely giving up points on unforced errors. I think my mindset was better than his tonight. Lee has a stronger set of skills than I do, but I didn't let myself feel a lot of pressure tonight. I thought that if I could win the psychological battle, I would have a chance. On some of the points, I was really amazed because it felt like Chen was hitting shots that in the past, or in my experience, he couldn't make, so I had little room for error. Match points. In the women's singles draw, fourth seed Saina Newal played well against Denmark's Tina Baun, ranked seventh, finally trouncing her in two straight games. Missed it, and that is it. And the clinch fist from Saina Newal, and she's through to her fourth final of the year. In the other women's singles semi-final, China played itself as Yihan Wang played Xin Wang. Yan making the final and exciting India versus China. And in the mixed double semi-finals, China's Shen Chu and Jean Ma played Denmark's Joachim Fischer-Nielsen and Christina Pedersen. Uh, attempting another backhand smash, this time trying to keep it straight as you suggested he should. Still to come on Badminton World, all the dramatic scenes from the BWF World Super Series Finals. Stay tuned. Cross angle, forces Lindan out of position. Welcome back to Badminton World, and coming up, all the shuttlecock action from the grand BWF World Super Series Finals of 2011. But first, Saina Newal is an Indian badminton player currently ranked fourth in the world. Saina is the first Indian woman to reach the singles quarterfinals at the Olympics and the first Indian to win the World Junior Badminton Championships. We met up with Saina at the finals to discuss her strategies for becoming such an accomplished player. My work is to get points and my work is to win points and rest all is, you know, it's not my work. So I just keep roaming uh, on the court and I just keep thinking about the next point rather than thinking what she's doing and what she's asking the umpire. So it really distracts but uh, I've learned that, that it's not the time to think about what she's doing. It's about how you're going to get the next point. But concentrating on getting the next point must be hard with the pressure of being amongst a very small bunch of players who regularly challenge the dominance of the Chinese top three. Everyone knows that uh, China is obviously the powerhouse. There are a lot of girls singles who are doing really well, so we can't stop them, but uh, we can uh, defeat them. And I'm just trying to uh, improve a lot, lot, lot more in the coming tournaments, and I hope uh, I do well. So, yeah, it, it does put pressure on, I mean, not only me, but all the top ten players. It's tough. It's, uh, I love the competition. I enjoy it. So uh, it's, it's wonderful to play against these Chinese players. And to defeat them is even more uh, you know, good. I feel really happy when I beat most of them. So yeah, I enjoy the competition in top 10. And I'm really happy to be one amongst them. And when it comes to her aims in 2012, Saina has only one answer. To win more games. The day of the finals brought much cheer to the Liu crowd, the Chinese fans getting a chance to see their players on the big stage. Missed it again. And that error means that Chen and Zhao The mixed doubles involved a very cream of the Chinese players, with top seeds Nanjiang and Yunlei Zhao playing their opponents seeded second, Chen Zhu and Jin Ma. with the power smash. Service over, 15, 20. The top seeds won the first game 
and game two proved to be equally one-sided. This time, second time of asking, and a second consecutive Super Series Finals title for Kang Nan and Zhao Yunlei. Victory for a second time this week over their compatriots Zhu Chen and Ma Jin. The women's doubles pair of Wang Zhao Li and Yu Yang were looking to add to a long list of wins. Facing them were the third seed pair of Tang Jinhua and Jia Wan. There was simply no let up in excellence by the Chinese top seeds. Here, Wang and Yu are just one point away from a win. First time of asking a demonstration really today by the defending champions, the world champions, the world number ones. They are quite clearly and quite simply the best. The fifth and third seeds were on show in the men's doubles final. Denmark's Matthias Bo and Karsten Mogensen up against China's Biao Chai and Zhen Dong Gu. The Chinese pair lost a tightly fought first game 25-23. But finally, the Danes showed why they deserve the higher rank, taking the second game easily at 21-7. The pair gaining victory in the men's doubles World Super Series Finals of 2011. Yeah. And the Danes celebrate a second consecutive Super Series Finals title. The women's singles final was between the crowd favourite from China, Wang Yihan, and the girl from India, Saina Newal. The match was tied, running to three sets over an hour and 11 minutes. But eventually, Yihan's experience won through. Seven of them. Oh, lovely control. And she's done it. She's come from behind. the Super Series Finals title to her long list of achievements. The men's singles final was also a star-studded affair, reigning Olympic and world champ Lin Dan taking on the young Chen Long. Although Chen Long played some great badminton, it was never really his match, with Lin Dan proving why he is thought of so highly. Point, well. Match point. Yeah. And one will do. Two straight games, and Lin Dan takes the Super Series Finals title. 21-12, And with Lin Dan taking the men's singles finals in the BWF World Super Series of 2011, we now leave you with some of the brightest moments from Yu Zhu. See you next time on Badminton World. You can now log on to the BWF's official live streaming channel hosted by YouTube, the world's largest online video community. Just type in badmintonworld.tv for all the live badminton action from around the planet. 
also enjoy access to a feast of match highlights, behind the scenes footage and player profiles on the online version of the Badminton World magazine show. All this only on badmintonworld.tv.